my fellow Canadians. My name is Audrey Parker. Two and a half years ago, I was diagnosed with terminal breast cancer that had metastasized in most of my skeleton. I knew when I got that awful news, I had to make a really big decision. Would I live my life in fear? Or would I try to make every day of the rest of my life the best it could possibly be? And that is exactly what I did. I am pleased to say that accepting my death really allowed me to live my life on my own terms. Over the past two years, I've traveled, I've attended fabulous parties, I've spent quality time with friends and family, and with their help, I was able to create a legacy that's all about helping others. Today, I invite you to be part of that legacy. I'm asking you to speak out for the rights of suffering Canadians who, like me, have already been assessed and approved for medical assistance in dying, or we call it MAID. I am grateful to live in Canada, a country where I can choose my death, but the law has forced me to play a cruel game of chicken. I would like nothing more than to make it to Christmas, but if I become incompetent along the way, I will lose out on my choice of a beautiful, peaceful, and best of all, pain-free death. That is why I've decided to leave this week on November 1st. No one should have to face a decision like this. People like me who've already been assessed and approved are dying earlier than necessary because of this poorly thought out law. I can assure you that no one chooses death lightly. We just don't want to suffer anymore. Anyone who is suffering like I am, you can't even imagine the level of pain that I endure. My last wish is that you, my fellow Canadians, that you will help people who've been assessed and approved to live without fear of their rights being taken away. You can get involved by contacting Dying with Dignity Canada, a fabulous organization working on the front lines to defend your end-of-life end rights. And I also encourage you to tell your Member of Parliament to restore the rights of Canadians in my category who've been assessed and approved already. Finally, I would like to thank everyone who has filled my life with joy over the past two and a half years. By supporting me, you have made it possible for me to use my story to help others. It has been one of the most satisfying experiences of all my life. I thank you from the bottom of my heart.